Hey, I got a question on YouTube about uh, creating a VET macro that does uh, kind of what the bandage overhead does. Uh, just to give you an example what the bandage does. And it start and it kind of counts down. That's underneath the display counters bandage timer. That comes from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make one for VET. Because right now if I hit VET, basically says, hey, you're using your, your supplies, but that's it, right? And it's you finished. Great. But let's go ahead and make one for veterinarian. Make sure on a profile. I uh, normally am on pre-subscribe, but I'm just going to stay on my tamer profile for now. Uh, let's go over to scripts under YouTube. Right click and say add category tamer. We'll say new and we'll just say uh, simple vet. We want to get the ID of our veterinary supplies. So if we do greater than info on the vet supplies, you can see it's called a wall shelf, but we're just going to use the ID. Click that little blue button, it will copy it. So we say if find type 25750 in our backpack, D click type that same letter in our backpack, else overhead no supplies, and 34 for red, and if. Okay, then we can set this as a hotkey. We'll say V. If I run V, no one needs a heal right now, so let's look into that. Uh, we'll wait 200 milliseconds after doing a thing, and then we can say if insist message. Uh, we'll just say living followers overhead that nothing to heal. And we'll use the 88 so it matches the color of a bandage. But you can use whatever color you want. Else. save and put play again so nothing to heal okay so let's uh go ahead and attack a guy and hit v again starting you begin veterinary supplies so now how do we do the countdown quick way we could do that is just basically using a loop right i'm going to show a few different ways but if you don't really care if it's like one second two second three second four you can just say four five and four Okay, <clears throat> you can say wait one second, and then overhead vet. Okay, and if I save and play this, nothing to heal, let's attack the cat. I'm gonna run it now, and it basically will do the vet. Do, do, do. Okay, so the timing's a little bit off, and it doesn't actually do what was requested. Of, hey, can we can we make one that uh, actually outputs the, the thing? Also, the other thing that happens is if I'm attacking this cat and I run my V Marco and then I run it again, it actually restarts. Okay, and it, so it's running when it really doesn't need to run because we're done. So we can do another system check saying if. Oh, and before we do all this, let's add the uh, clear sys mess, clear sys message at the top. That way we're using the most recent thing from the double click. So inside this, we can say if in sys mess, you must wait a few moments. We're going to try to tap into this. That's vet starting. Okay. Already running. So now what we can do add a list variable so that instead of just running this we actually output a specific message so again this is fine you can use this as is this is your your new vet macro if you're happy here but if you want to go to completion let's do a list so if not list exists we'll call it vet timer create list vet timer and if okay so this basically creates a list variable called vet timer what we're going to do then is scroll down to here and say if our vet isn't already running we want to clear list vet timer okay and then we want to push list vet timer level one how many seconds does it take it takes five total so we'll go two three four five so what i just did is i've created a array of five values 
looping. And so instead of looping through five, we're actually going to do if statements to check for things. You can actually say if for each, you know, x in a vet timer, and that will loop through each of these values. But I want to actually do something special for this. Instead, we're going to say if the list vet timer is equal to five. That means if the list length is equal to five, then we'll say overhead vet five seconds, 88 for the hue. We will pop list vet timer from the front, and we will wait one second. Oops. Okay. So we're starting, we're popping, and now we're going to do this if we're equal to four, do four seconds, else equal to five, oops, three, <laughs> three seconds, equal to two, two seconds, equal to one, one second. At the end, I'm just going to say 500 there. Check to see if we're done. So if in sys message finish using overhead that end 88 and if. OK, so just a review before we play this. We're creating a variable called vet timer, and it's an array. We're trying to use vet supplies that are in our backpack. If no one needs a heal, we escape. So let's run that. No one needs a heal, we escape. If we run it and you get a, you must wait a few moments, meaning we've, we've done this too many times. We will leave the list alone. Ah, so then we want to end if here. I messed that up a little bit. This end if. Because I basically want to create the list, this new list, whenever we begin healing. Okay. The reason why is because once we begin healing, we need a five second timer. So then what the script does, it says, hey, if the list length is five, then say five seconds. If it's four, four seconds, three, three seconds. And this pop list basically removes an element. So if we start off at five, we pop an element, then this next one will be true. The next one will be true, etc. If we replay the macro and there was two seconds left, the list should have two items in it. So when it reruns, it will skip this, skip this, skip this, come back down to here and say two seconds. All right, I think this will do it. Let's uh, let's try it out, okay? So again, V, nothing to heal. Let's, let's attack the cat. I'm gonna heal it up without touching anything else. So five, four, three, two, one, heal, end, okay? So let's attack the cat again, and then I'm going to hit V. And I'm going to hit V again. We're already running. I'm going to hit V again. Okay, so if you hit V multiple times, we don't get the end message that I'd like to see. Let's see. Let's do that. Let's just output it either way. Do we really need to check to see if it's done? Because either way, this, this macro is over. Let's try again. Nothing to heal. One. I'm going to hit it again. We're already running. Three, two, one, end. All right. Let me know if you uh, agree, disagree, like this one, don't like this one. I'll make sure to post it on the GitHub. Uh, I also have something in the works in regards to just U UO scripts in general that I want to make a video about. Anyway, let me know in the comments if this was helpful, cool, bad, sad, glad, mad. Um... I need to still do the lumberjacking and all these other videos that I want to do. Um, thanks for being patient. Life gets in the way. Anyway, peace. Yes, I don't like the new iDoc changes. <laughs>